One of the other hats I wear in addition to being an astronaut is I'm the leader of the EVA Physiology Systems and Performance Project. And the goal of that project is really to optimize human performance in a suit in the exploration spacewalk environment. And so we look at all aspects of that. And one of the ones that we think is very important and that our testing um, at JSC with the POGO uh, simulator and so forth has confirmed is the center of gravity. And if you look back at the Apollo guys, for a number of reasons, including bad CG, they fell down a lot. In fact, we analyzed the videotapes and they spent two to three percent of their time that we had on video either falling down or getting up from falling down. So CG is an important aspect and that's one of the, the central themes of this evaluation that we're doing at MIMO is to evaluate different center of gravities during different kinds of operations, everything from exploration tasks to unloading a lander and really understand the interrelationships between the center of gravity and your weight and how that affects human performance. What you really want is an ideal CG that lines up with your CG so you're natural. Unfortunately, with the engineering constraints of a suit and a backpack, you never quite get that. And then, of course, everybody is a different size and shape, and so one that might be perfect for me, somebody else might not like. And so we're actually exploring the anthropometric differences. And, um, you know, ideally, like I said, it would be in the perfect position, but what we're finding although it's not confirmed yet, is that we hate it if it's directly aft because you really can't do anything to change it. So if it has to be behind you, then we want to move it up, but you don't want to move it up too far. So we're trying to sort of thread the needle and find out what CG optimizes human performance across the range of astronaut sizes and weights.